everyone. My name is Danielle and Sagoin, and I'm the youngest staff member of Heartbridge Ministry. This week, from now on, we will be um, running all of the morning chapels for you guys. So we're super excited, and we hope that this morning as well, we will be able to um, bring the Holy Spirit into your hearts and that you would have a good time. So today's Bible verse is Ezekiel 36. Um, verses 22 through 30. So I'll read it. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Lord God, when through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Can we pray before we start? Because I'm super nervous. Um, Holy Spirit, I pray that as I share a little bit of my testimony today, that you will be here in my message and that you would be able to touch all of the students who are listening right now that you would speak to their hearts and if there's anything in their hearts that need to be healed, that you would heal that. And also you would use us after this message to um, change the lives of the people around us. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So this week we are focusing on talking about hardened hearts. And I wanted to share a story of how I uh, was taught by God to soften the hardened hearts around me. So I'm going to share a little bit of my testimony. I was born in Honolulu. I was a missionary kid. I was born on the YWAM base there. And my uh, parents were staff in Honolulu until I was six. Um, my mom is Korean and my dad's American, but they met and they got married because they both had a heart for North Korea. So we moved from Honolulu to Korea when I was six and my dad did a lot of ministry in churches and he started an NGO and started going into North Korea. Um, but I grew up in the Korean church so I went to um, Orini Yebe every uh, Sunday and um, since I was in second grade then we started having uh, really big events every year called Talanti Shijang. And so there was this one time, one year, um, my pastor said that we were supposed to bring as many friends as we could to Thailand to Shijang, and that if we did, then we would get a Chadesseo sticker. And I really, really wanted that sticker. But one problem, big, big problem, was that I was homeschooled since I was in grade one, so I didn't have any friends. <laughs> I figure skated since I was in second grade, but the figure skating rink was really far away and st and so I had no friends to invite to church so I was super super sad but I really wanted to bring somebody so I went to the playground in front of our church and I tried to invite somebody a friend that I didn't know but the friend said that she didn't want to come and I felt super rejected and that really crushed my heart and so after that time, evangelism, talking to people, all of that kind of stuff, I was super afraid of doing. But that also was not good for me. I felt really um, bad about the fact that I was scared of talking to people about Jesus. So that stuck with me for a long time. I felt really ashamed and bad, and I felt like a bad Christian. I was also a missionary kid, so I felt like I was supposed to be good at that for some reason. So we went to YWAM Kona in 2015, and I heard a message from Todd White, and he is a really, really crazy evangelist. He goes into Walmart and like talks to everybody about how Jesus loves them, 
and I was really inspired, but I felt like I couldn't do that much. But I still felt like God wanted me to use, uh, God wanted to use me to soften the hearts of people around me. Maybe not that in like crazy ways like that. But I really felt like God wanted to use me in other ways. So I was praying and um, I was always looking for ways that God could use me in beautiful ways um, to do that to the people around my life, but also to people that I didn't know. So I didn't like when our church took us to the streets and told us to just evangelize and talk to people. I was really bad at that. But I was keep looking for I kept looking for a way to evangelize, to minister to people's hearts. And I went to do Harper's DTS last year in 2019. And that's where I found the way that I could really um, touch people's hearts, minister to people's hearts, soften people's hearts in a way that I felt comfortable in a way that I felt was most effective for me and in a way that I felt God used me the best. So after every performance, oh, we go on outreach every year. And after, when we go on outreach, we perform most of the time a show. And so after every show, then we would have time to go into the audience and talk to people and pray with people. And that's how we did ministry. But I was always scared to talk to people, so I always stayed in the backstage cleaning. But one day in Israel, we were doing outreach in Israel, and one of my staff pushed me to go into the audience and talk to somebody. And I was so mad because I didn't want to talk to anybody. But uh, I saw, I had seen one lady before the show who was really quiet and she was very reserved. And you could just tell that she had a hardened heart. And I was praying for her through the whole show. But after the show, when one of the staff pushed me to go into the audience and talk to one of the um, people in the audience, then I saw her and her face was completely changed and her heart was open. And she came to me and she asked me, who's Jesus? Like, what's, what's this person that like some of the other people were talking to me about? And I had, didn't have to even go to her. She just came to me and asked first. And I was so shocked at how that just unfolded. That situation was um, unfolded. And so I was super excited. And I, I was not scared at all to talk to her about Jesus. So I was um, evangelizing. I was praying for her and blessing her. And I felt like, Wow, finally I found a way that I can soften the people's hearts around me without feeling so anxious or afraid of doing it. So that's a short story of how I found out my passion and my way of um, touching the people's hearts around me. And my prayer is that God would continue to lead you guys to uh, find ways to minister to the hearts of people around you all people that you know, but also people that you don't know. And I also pray that while Hartbridge is here uh, with Faiston, that we would be able to minister to your hearts. If you have anything in your heart that you might feel is hardened, that we would be able to help you soften that as well. So thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.